right, thank you again for talking with me. Go ahead and state your name and tell me your ride. What are we looking at? So I'm Carlos. I have a 2021 Toyota Corolla hatchback. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I, I really loved the way Toyota brought out this hatchback in the Corolla. And I think it just looks so nice and mean from factory. I know that the motor is, you know, kind of whatevs right now, but the GR Corolla is coming out. And we can talk about that in a moment. But tell me um, first, you mentioned you're a student here. What are you majoring in? And most importantly, after that, tell me why did you choose this car as your kind of ride for a school? So I'm, I'm a student here and I am majoring in mechanical engineering. Wow. I am really interested in cars. And first time I saw the Cor this Corolla hatchback, I saw it on the freeway. I just really liked how it looked. And I just knew I had to get that one for to be able to tr transport myself around. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, and it's practical and it has stylish. And that's very interesting. You're, you're going into mechanical engineering. Tell me, where did that uh, passion for cars come from? Did you have any, uh, like, you know, changing oil with dad kind of experience? Or where did where did you get in, enveloped into the car culture? It will, my, my whole family is really, is like into cars. So ever since I was little, I always helped out my dad, like, change his oil car oil just changed any like small piece from the car and that got me into the car community and all of that and I just really enjoy learning about cars and getting some hands-on work right on yeah and you said mechanical engineering that's again I wasn't smart enough to even attend a UC school so congratulations on that um, tell me what, what would you like to do with your degree after you've you've graduated from a UC school and what what would be your dream job or dream passion well, my my um, idea is to graduate in mechanical engineering and be able to open my own mechanical shop and be able to work with cars. Okay, right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so cool. So you want to stay in that culture. Very, very nice. Um, tell me, do you have plan? It looks relatively stock from here. I think the wheels are different, right? Um, go ahead and tell me some of the mods you've done. Well, the first mod I did was tinted all the windows. Uh, black on black. On black, <laughs> yeah. And I added the two back spoilers, the roof spoiler and the mid spoiler. And I've painted the wheels all black. And my f future mods, I want to put a front splitter, um, rear diffuser with an exhaust in it. Cool, just kind of keep it simple, chill. Now, are you more like a car show kind of guy? Or do you want to maybe get a second, like, kind of daily race car? Or... Uh, what, 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 are your, what do you tend to like about the car culture, car scene? Well, like I said, I really like working into cars. Um, right now I have this Cor Corolla and I am actually currently working on a project car. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm working on the Ford Maverick. Um, oh, old school. Ford yeah, Maverick. Old nice. school Ford Maverick. Yeah, it's in 72, 1972, and I am currently building the engine out of, out of like the first engine piece. Very cool, very nice. Now, what would be some advice you can give to maybe some of these younger cats that are maybe applying for college this year or trying to get into a, a major or into the industry with, with cars? What advice would you give them and some of the things you've learned so far? Well, the first advice I would say is um, stay in school. First, um, make sure you first prioritize school. And after that, you could make time into anything you would like, like getting into the car community, learning about cars. And if you like if you like the cars, I suggest you should stay on to like learn about cars and go into car meets, they're really fun. Yeah, yeah, that's the best, man. That's where you get a lot of inspiration, right? Last question, and you've mentioned you, you want to go into, you want to stay in the car culture in some way, shape, or form. Well, California is transitioning to electrification in the next 15 to 20 years, and we kind of don't know what's, that, what's going to happen with the car scene and car culture. What are your thoughts of electric cars and, and kind of what, what it's going to be in the future for us? Well, like like they've said, they um, decided to stop producing like, any gas cars by the year 2035. And I was actually in electrical engineering, trying to focus oh, in wow. the automobile industry and electrical cars. But there's something about the me like learning about mechanics in the cars and something about engine that got me to switch my major. But hopefully, there still be more um, production of gas cars later on. 
All right. Well, we hope so too, right? Uh, especially for your generation, because uh, you know, for me, I already have my toys, already have my cool stuff, and I, I hope you guys realize you're living in the time right now. You know, so enjoy what you have, keep what you can, and uh, I'm just gonna do a quick walk around of your Corolla. Are there any shout-outs or IGs or anything you wanted to let uh, anyone that's listening know? Well, currently now, right now, um, I just want to say to like enjoy your guys' days enjoy your um your time you guys have like learn about cars just do what makes anything fun for you yeah absolutely well thank you again for your time i appreciate it